Welcome back to the Cozy Cottage Homestead. Today is Frugal and Thrifty Thursday. I don't have near as many ideas as I have with the pantyhose. Not yet, anyway. And I haven't been feeling the best, but I thought I would go ahead and share a few with you today anyway. So, how do you cover up your mason jars after you open them and you break the seal? Do you keep the old lid and then put the band back on? Well, if you do, I have an easier thing for you to do. A frugal tip. Use your mayonnaise lids. They fit right on top of the jar and seal very tightly. They also fill, fit quart size jars, pints, half pints, and then you have a really nice little lid. Instead of buying the plastic lids, they do sell them commercially, but why buy them when you can be frugal and save a few lids from your mayonnaise? And then you will have lids that didn't cost you anything. You already brought the mayonnaise, so why not save a few lids? And another good thing that you can save is your paper that your butter comes in. The paper that your butter comes in is actually parchment paper. You can wash it just like anything else and let it dry. Hang it up somewhere and let it dry and save it for later. Yes, I still have parchment paper in my pantry, but if I was to run out, I would have these little papers from the butter and I can line a cookie sheet and make cookies and they would not stick to the pan. So yes, you can save the paper. Again, you already bought the butter, so why not save some parchment paper? Parchment paper is also used for lots of other things like crafts. You can also freeze hamburger patties or sausage patties and layer it in between each patty before you freeze it so that they don't stick together. So it's free. You already bought the butter. Why not save some parchment paper? And also, if you make homemade butter, which I do during the winter, you can use the paper to rewrap your butter in. Very frugal. And occasionally, we do purchase onions and fruit that comes in these little plastic bags. They are great to store nuts in them. They're also great to just ball up in a ball. You can scrub a grill with them, and you can scrub pots and pans with them. You could make it fancy, or you could just roll it up just like it is, and use it to clean your pots and pans, and also to store things in them. So don't throw them away. You've already bought them. Reuse them and recycle them. Now I know some of you are probably scratching your head and frowning. What in the world would you do with an empty bread bag? Well, of course, you would just wash it out and hang it to dry and save it. I don't make a lot of bread in the summertime, but come winter, I'll be needing something to store my home-baked bread in. And you can stick it in the freezer and freeze bread. Bread freezes quite well. So why not? You already bought the bread. It came with the bag. So save a few bags for the winter time when you bake your fresh bread. And then you'll have bread that's in a bag that won't be freezer burned and you can freeze it and use it later. If you save up a quite a few bags, you can just have a bread baking day and bake up a bunch of bread all at one time and heat your house and have a lot of good bread for your family to eat throughout the winter. So think about it. Why throw it away? You can reuse it and repurpose it. It might sound strange, yes, but I think we're living in times where being frugal is going to be what keeps us going and keeps people alive. You know, um, during the winter time, make your own bread and save your bags. So that's all I have for today. I'll come up with some more ideas for next week. I kind of don't do the the thrifty, the frugal and thrifty Thursdays every single week. Sometimes I do a walkie-talkie, and then the next week I may do a frugal and thrifty Thursday. But I'll definitely be sharing some more ideas with you. So hope everyone's having a great day and farewell homestead family, friends, and neighbors from the Cozy Cottage Homestead.